everyone. Uh, uh, thank you for your viewership, and uh, I'm getting a very good response from uh, uh, the, all the viewers. And uh, uh, some uh, uh, some of the friends they are posting certain questions which I also need to answer as we go on in uh, this technical training further. So you know, there was uh, 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 one friend who asked me that. Uh, uh, whether uh, the controller class which is basically used in uh, data provider SSRS uh, whether uh, actually it might be in his company it was a requirement that for uh, a different company or different legal entity he wanted to have a different design so he was asking about a controller class so I would suggest uh, not to make your uh, I mean life complex so instead of uh, that one uh, when a print management is giving you uh, straightforward options and simple to configure options so we should not I mean um, again uh, uh, take a, uh, you know another um, uh, mission impossible for development and uh, uh, do our coding and uh, stuff you know uh, most of the time developers tend to um, uh, code without uh, knowing or their functional consultants normally or business analysts, they uh, do not know about the product uh, capability or out of the box feature, and they uh, just tend to customize the product. So instead of customizing, please uh, also take care uh, to uh, use the out of the box features which are available. So print management does support uh, co company uh, uh, per company basis settings or configuration, means you can define uh, different settings for different companies. So we will see how to do that one and uh, uh, right now on the right hand side you can see this is a Contoso Entertainment System USA, USMF which is in our demo system. Uh, so in my current company I will define certain settings and then I will uh, switch to another company and I will check whether uh, my settings are company specific or uh, it is uh, you know uh, same for all the companies. So as I told you, it is company specific. We just need to uh, test it. So basically, in uh, this one, uh, sales order confirmation. I can in my previous video, you can see if uh, 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 this is basically a sequel of uh, those uh, videos. So you can see uh, to configure a print management option. So in this one, original setting is configured already, and footer text is uh, there uh, mentioning original and. Uh, I want to also switch to the custom design here, which we uh, uh, develop in previous example by duplicating an existing design. And just I put a heading text there, so it will differentiate itself that this report is being called. So once I have uh, done that one, uh, you can uh, note the, these settings. Okay. So now what we'll do, we will just uh, call a sales order in this uh, USMF uh, entity and see how it is working so just uh, click any of the sales order in open status and uh, go to the proforma confirmation and uh, launch that uh, proforma confirmation dialog and uh, in that dialog uh, you need to select print confirmation and use print management destination if these options are by default not selected you just need to turn these two options on and uh, of course posting is disabled because this is proforma confirmation so just press ok so you can see this is a custom design and uh, because we have put this uh, heading text custom design sales report uh, in our duplicated design and then uh, you can also check that original text uh, as a footer is appearing so that is our USMF company. Now let's switch to another uh, one. For example, Contoso Retail USA. So here I will uh, select one of uh, you know uh, open sales order. And then I will uh, uh, run the proforma confirmation. 
okay and the options are selected just press okay there is one line in this one you can check here that there is no heading text appearing and uh, you can also see there is no original uh, word is appearing so it means our settings are specific to each of the company now let's check another uh, feature which is also provided by print management and uh, uh, that option uh, will enable you conditional settings so let's go back to account receivable in account receivable form setup uh, in the print management again and uh, in uh, sales order so in uh, here what we can do let me uh, switch to our uh, other company which is USMF You can see here the out of the box uh, report is uh, selected which we just showed uh, how it works and uh, we will just remove uh, to its original state. Uh, now let's imagine a scenario when uh, for example you have uh, a specific format uh, for a customer in, in, in case of sales order confirmation or uh, for example in um, uh, any free text invoice you have a specific format for uh, uh, custom uh, each customer wise uh, means a report format so that is also possible and uh, also uh, I mean number of copies which means that whenever you uh, take a print it will uh, print in multiple copies uh, one two or three whatever number is required and footer text also can be specific to a customer in case of our free text invoice and in case of you know the vendor document uh, the vendor can be a criteria so uh, for each of the document there can be a different criteria so how to do that we will uh, uh, since we have already reverted all the settings to is original so now what we'll do we'll create you can see now there are two options one is this sales order confirmation document itself when you click this means to create another settings settings for the same document that can be uh, here but if you click on the setting itself then uh, uh, you will see altogether a new uh, uh, you know the area on the right hand side it it shows the condition also the name of condition itself and uh, uh, there can be a report format uh, a different report format for a specific uh, condition and uh, you know the three of the fields are available here so you can uh, always change it to uh, as per uh, you know the customers or whatever the condition you have selected just go ahead and uh, click the select option so whatever data source is there so that data source will be available here and uh, so let me uh, reset the uh, dialog and uh, uh, I will select uh, from here uh, order account field is there so the lookup will show all the order accounts so I will uh, select for example uh, US01 uh, so this one uh, is a specific customer so just press ok so now you can see in conditions that order when order account is this one so then print a footer text conditions for for example this is specific customer so whatever the customer conditions are we can put instead of this uh, demo text which I am just using uh, for demo purpose uh, you can put a specific condition for a specific customer so in the sa same way for a vendor and whatever the external parties are so uh, and also design can be different but uh, uh, for example I will uh, choose here uh, our uh, custom design custom design for testing purpose and uh, I have put a footer text here conditions for uh, US01 so uh, this this one is original so I will just put uh, the original text as well and uh, uh, for all other customers uh, the only original text should appear in the original document 
so what will i uh, another thing which i will do uh, just uh, give it a name for example conditions for us 001 with the customer's name itself so that it is uh, uh, very clearly mentioned and then just create another setting and uh, here i i just need to uh, for example uh, 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 make uh, another copy for the customer for all all of the customers so let me customers copy so this is customers copy and uh, this will appear for all the uh, customers since I have not uh, additionally input the specific conditions. So the customer copies uh, will use out of the box uh, design and it will be for all the customers. Then there will be for example another settings for example and mention it like warehouse copy. Whenever a sales order is confirmed so one copy will be issued to the warehouse. save it and uh, just so both of these settings are you know for all the customers and uh, the this one is uh, for a specific customer and then rest of the customer except us01 will uh, show only original text so we will uh, see the demo of this one uh, just go ahead to account receivable and sales order Here uh, you can see uh, our US01 uh, customer is here with the open order. So just go ahead with the pro forma confirmation. And uh, by uh, uh, keeping uh, print confirmation and uh, use print management destination checkbox as selected, you can go ahead with the OK button. And then it will show you, you see here. Uh, So at the footer text you can see warehouse copy. So this one is the first one having two pages and uh, just close it. And now this one is customer's copy for a general customer and it, it, it is for all customer you know the same one. And this one is the original and since we have selected uh, customer US01. So specific conditions are appearing at the bottom footer and there is a custom design which we have put a specific heading text in our previous video. So the same custom design is being called with the footer text with a specific condition for this customer. So now we have selected another customer that is US003 uh, which is a wholesaler customer and we will uh, again launch pro forma confirmation. And by keeping print confirmation and use print management option as yes, uh, just press OK. So just take care uh, not to choose multiple documents, otherwise both conditions will apply if the uh, if our customer is US uh, 001. So just keep uh, one uh, specific customer uh, to be selected. Here we are house copy which is same for all the customer is appearing and then customers copy uh, with two pages. This is our original print and uh, this is you know now it is a general uh, uh, general layout or general format is being called out of the box one and it is not showing any heading heading text which we have used in custom design and uh, the footer text original is being shown which is uh, general for all so uh, now we have seen i mean how to customize you know the uh, print uh, management option as per customer specific and there can be you know multiple criteria on the basis of various fields available in the query condition so uh, not only the customer but uh, 
you can also choose customer uh, group uh, based upon your requirement so uh, in the in the settings itself uh, in uh, in the query you can uh, use here join conditions and uh, then uh, while clicking on the table you can add table join and uh, on the basis of uh, multiple tables which are uh, having a relationship with this one you can uh, create additional uh, you know conditions for this and uh, apart from this you know that this table is ultimately available so what whatever you can do you can add an, another another row and uh, you know select any other field for example uh, amount field if it is uh, more than uh, a specific amount then you put uh, another condition that uh, about uh, you know credit limit or uh, about uh, terms of payment or anything you you whatever you like and dimensions are also available and uh, the fields all all are available uh, belonging to this uh, table so you can put a, a specific you know uh, conditions here apart from this uh, we have also explored that uh, a different design is uh, selected here for uh, this customer in the same manner you can put a customer group or uh, um, you know another setting can be also added here you know as many as you like and uh, uh, different formats uh, for uh, you know reports can be uh, developed and uh, used and footer text means uh, any terms or condition you can put as a footer text or reminders or instruction for the customer and uh, number of copies can be multiple here also whenever you get a print so if you put here two so uh, two copies will be there to the printer itself so then uh, you know the these settings we have explored and you know the, these are specific uh, to a company and uh, uh, whenever you go to another company the same setting is not replicated to that company uh, so we will just check it again uh, so for example Contoso, Contoso Retail so you can see here that uh, our settings is only company specific that's why it is not showing here so I hope you have enjoyed uh, uh, this one uh, uh, this another session about print management and you have also explored uh, how to uh, use a different uh, design for different company and you have also explored that uh, how for a specific party that is customer or vendor or uh, you know whatever the external parties are you can uh, have a different uh, design if you like or you can have different instruction if you like so uh, in my previous session you can also see how uh, the attachment uh, uh, as a note external note uh, was being utilized to print it also in uh, the document itself so uh, these are very uh, useful options and these are available out of the box without you know uh, adding any more effort on development side so if you can go to the form notes we have also uh, explore form notes let me switch uh, the company so here uh, you know whatever uh, the document is you can define a new form note and you can select a form here uh, so you can see so many documents are available uh, on which you can print the uh, you know the specific text whatever the text you will input here for example let me copy it here from another one and uh, just put it here and just change this uh, information uh, form note so the, these as I told in previous session these are permanent notes means uh, whatever you put here it will appear for uh, you know in this specific company uh, for all our outgoing document but if you need for uh, you know a specific document wise that I have already covered how uh, in my previous video you can uh, check that uh, that uh, within the sales order document itself there is an attachment option which you need to enable first and uh, that uh, also I have covered and after enabling uh, it then you can uh, uh, insert or in, uh, add an, a node which is external type so it will then appear differently on different uh, uh, printouts of uh, each of the sales order so the variable node and here it is a fixed node 
so uh, thank you very much guys if you need anything uh, else please uh, do, uh, do your valuable feedback thank you very much for your appreciations